here we are with Gleipnir, and yeah, I don't know much about this anime really. Um, I just know that there is this boy, which is the main character, I guess, and he can transform into this plushy looking thing. <laughs> and then there's this girl that knows that he can do that, and then she goes inside him, and then they do stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some people like it, some people don't like it at all, so it's a very mixed bag, right? Um, but yeah, for me, it looked interesting. I wanted to check it out for a long time, never got to it, so I guess we start now. Let me know what you think, but yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, and I would say let's get to the episode. Has a bit of summertime rendering vibes, having like only a, shigo, uh, a, a shadowy figure and this distortion <laughs> going on. <laughs> no drink? What? <coughs> I don't think that's how they work. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting. That a person comes out of a vending machine. <clears throat> oh, hello. I don't know, I somehow have a bit of like uh, Mirai Nikki vibes, right? <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That sucks. So I didn't catch this one part. Are his grades good or not good? I think he said his grades are good, right? So is it about a school where he wants to go? Or that is far away? I guess so. Thank <laughs> you. 
professor. <laughs> but change it a bit that it's not the same. It was so tech, uh, so much text at once, so much text at once. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. I didn't catch all of that. So I have to rewatch it. I'm quite confused. I definitely have to rewatch this stuff a bit. <laughs> he just spaced out <laughs> misunderstandings How many recommendations do they give out? If it's maybe just one, then he doesn't get it. I guess it's just one. <laughs> oh, did he deny the recommendation? And that's why she got it? Oh. I think I get it now. He denied it and they were like, but your grades are good, but you would have to go there. It's further away and you would have to get a, uh, like a dorm or something and we can't figure that out for you or with you. And he's like, nah, nah, I'm good. <clears throat> well, that's where the, the girl was, right? He can smell her? God damn, good nose. I mean, I guess he is like superhuman. His eyesight gets better. He smells better. Yeah, I guess because of that. <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> what? Why is she opened up so much? <laughs> For what reason? <laughs> Quite interesting. I mean, I don't mind it. Wolf.
Nani? So when he is in this, his vision is bad? I mean, why is he going through the wall and not through the entrance where he came from? <laughs> this is more dramatic. Well, maybe because there was fire in the way. But she was like very much at the entrance, right? We saw her when it zoomed in. <clears throat> I smell booba. What the f- <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> he just lets her lie there? I mean, what if the grass fangs on, uh, what if the grass starts to burn, right? Panties down. So does she know? Man, I don't like these, like, beans. Oh, he forgot it was his phone? How did that happen? That it is like right next to her when he was all the way down there. But yeah, I don't like these beans that have like these long, I don't know what, strings or whatever. That are like very sticky. Ugh. Hey, thanks for finding it. Nani? You are right here? Monster? Was she looking for a monster? Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> but I guess it's not here. Something so v valuable. Goddamn. She knows. I mean, n not everyone, everyone found out yet, right?
Oh. <laughs> Now she knows, for sure. And a photo. <clears throat> she likes it. Do you see that too? Well, too late. <laughs> Is this a gun or do you just like to see me? <laughs> But not for the right reasons. That's more like it, probably. <laughs> or just killed, right? Better late than never, Claire. What a trashy name, what? She looks older than him. We've seen this coin. It's same. I like her. Yep, that type of girl. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Nah. All the way. <laughs> what is this? I don't blame him. You are my pet. Yes, ma'am.
Uh... <clears throat> what the fuck is going on? Very handy. <laughs> what? Gather us? Oh, she can transform too. But it's a bit different. Same eye. Okay, I think there's no after credit scene, but I mean, we can listen to the outro. Sounds familiar. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I rewatched some parts of the episodes, mainly the beginning, because I got so hung up on the are his grades good or bad part that I completely forgot the part where they said he denied it, right? Which is a recommendation. <clears throat> so yeah, he denied the recommendation. I think that's because he is because he is this monster now inside. And because of that he is like worried and just wants to be normal, right? And her recommendation is something special. And so that's why he denies it, I guess. <clears throat> and yeah. Otherwise, interesting episodes so far and confusing episodes with the whole beginning of the episode, right? Where you have this shadowy figure finding the coins, going to a vending machine, and then a human comes out of the vending machine. Make I have two theories, right? One theory is maybe... The shadowy figures are the monster, and the human that come out are like duplicates of humans, like versions of humans, and then they can possess the human that way, which make would make sense why our main character can't remember how he got the powers or why he got the power, right? 
the other theory I have would be that maybe the shadowy figure was a human and the person that comes out is maybe a monster in human form. But that seems also weird and unlikely. So I guess maybe both ideas are wrong. But yeah, that's like two theories I came up with. Just thinking about it a bit. <clears throat> that would make sense to me in some weird way. Um, but yeah, so the beginning part and the coin part, confusing. But interested to see how that whole thing functions, right? And then, yeah, <clears throat> when it, interesting thing is like every time he smells something, when the black particles fly around, right? Which we had when he smells the animal or the fire, there is this howl, right? Not all, every time, because when he was at his locker and smelled Claire, he didn't have the howl when he smelled something. So I wonder when, if there is like some criteria when, he, when the howl comes or not. It's very interesting. I guess it's like the instincts of the monster inside him that take over maybe somewhat in some way. And so, yeah, he basically also knows nothing about it. Like I said, how he got the power, which Claire wants to find out after she found out that he is a monster when he rescued her because it seems like she wasn't completely completely unconscious because she could remember that he wants that he undressed her basically when he pulled down the panties <laughs> which makes me wonder if it seems like there were some lewd instincts taking over right when he was this monster because he didn't want to because he was like what am i doing right so i guess the monster wanted to undress her i guess that's like the instincts maybe i wonder if there will be will be more stuff like that <laughs> that like the lewd instincts take over right um could be funny but I guess that's some some part of the anime that people don't like, right? Where they where people think, why people think that this might be some trashy anime, because it has like these edgy fan service moments, full frontal, right, without excuses, <clears throat> which I personally don't mind because it reminds me a bit of like older anime. I mean, we still have even nowadays lots of anime that have like loot stuff happening, right? Um, but I know, I know, I feel like in the old days, like times like Golden Boy or La Fina or stuff like that, it felt different how they handled like the loot, edgy fan service stuff. <clears throat> it, where it also was like full frontal, no excuses, right? And I, I feel like nowadays it's, a, it's handled a bit differently, but this year in Gleipnir, Reminded me a bit more of like old school anime, I would say, if that makes sense for some people, maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm wondering if we see more of that stuff. <laughs> um, and so yeah, so Claire was maybe not completely unconscious and saw him and had a smartphone, his phone. So to confirm that he's a monster, she kicked him off the building. Would have been fun if it turns out he wasn't a monster, right, and just died. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, I mean, maybe she just hall uh, hallucinated, right? Um, but yeah, she wasn't, and confirmed it, and made a photo of him to have some blackmail material against him. And yeah, obviously she wants to find out more about the monster, because she is looking for monsters, right? She knows that there are monsters, she knows that there are more monsters. She wants to know how it works, but... Well, our character here doesn't know anything, right? He want, He's wondering himself. So, yeah, and she has, like, one of those coins, which at the end of the episode, when the other person came in, the other girl, and attacked them, um, wanted to get the coin too. And then she asked, what is the coin for? And she got the answer, you gain powers, but you lose everything, which I'm confused what it means. I mean, I guess you gain power means probably you get the monster part, right? The transformation part. But you lose everything could maybe mean, well, now you are a monster, not human anymore, right? Or maybe there are some more drawbacks. Maybe at some point you can't can't transform back anymore, so you stay a monster, and that's what why you lose everything, maybe. I guess we have to wait and find out what everything means, literally. Um, so yeah, also very interesting to see how diverse the transformations can be right we have our main character that looks more like a mascot 
And then we have the other girl that just looks like an enhanced human being, right? With like claws at her hand and feet and just like more muscular, I would say. So already pretty diverse. And I mean, in the intro, I think we saw some more transformation. One looked like some death looking thing, right? <clears throat> so very interested to see how the other people turn out to be, the other monsters that we most likely will encounter. And how diverse they can be. And yeah, I mean, still like lots of questions. I mean, Claire knows some stuff, but clearly not how everything works. But she's looking for monsters for whatever reason. I guess maybe... Yeah, no, I don't know. <sighs> Which is kind of confusing because... She's looking for monsters, right? So she, so she has a mission. But then, before she wants to suicide herself? That's a bit confusing, right? Why did she want to kill herself if she wants to find these monsters for whatever reason? Maybe she wanted to kill herself because she didn't find any monsters, but she knew there were some monsters. Now that she found a monster, it like... gave her a reason to live and longer i guess maybe right <clears throat> that she has now some confirmation um but we don't know why she's looking for them i guess maybe something happened in her past right i mean that's like the would be probably the most likely thing maybe her family got killed because she lives alone or something from a monster i guess we get the backstory at some point but yeah overall Confusing anime, uh, anime, 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 confusing anime. Jesus, I can't talk today. Confusing anime, interesting anime. I liked it so far. And it gives me some Mirai Nikki vibes too. Like I said in the intro, the intro gave me some Mirai Nikki vibes. And the anime itself gives me some Mirai Nikki vibes. Like, and animation wise, it gives me those vibes a bit. And also, like, characters give me the vibes a bit, right? We have our main character that seems like a bit more shy and reserved and weak and has basically a great power. I mean, we don't know how great, but he can transform. So I say just he has a great power, which is kind of like Mira and Nikki, our, the main character, who was also like shy and reserved and kind of weak, right? But he had a great power by knowing what the future would do, right? <clears throat> And then we have, like, Claire, which seems somewhat like you know. We don't know to what extent, but she Claire seem, seems unhinged and falls to the wall, right? She's not this cutesy girl or something, which you know she could do both, right? At some point, she's like this cutesy girl, and then she becomes unhinged and falls to the wall and badass, right? Um... And I mean, also like the loot parts that Mira and Nikki also had some of those somewhat, right? And maybe not to this extent that we have right here, right now, but similar. it has similar vibes to me. And I like Mira and Nikki, so I maybe will also like this, right? Which is both weird animes, I would say. And yeah, can't wait for the next episode to see what happens next, because this was just the first episode and it was, it, and it was already very weird and interesting so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye